Hello my friends, I hope you all are having an amazing day with the amazing blessings and with the amazing grace of God. My name is Dinesh Sharon and welcome to another video. Today the title of my sermon is Living as the Light of the World. My friends, so without any further delay, let's get into it. So my friends, as I have said before today, the title of my sermon is Living as the Light of the World. My friends, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 14 to 16, our Lord Jesus Christ is saying that you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. My friends, in here our Lord Jesus Christ is saying something that is really important. Amen. My friends, as the children of God, we are the light of the world. We are the children of God, my friends. Amen. We are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. My friends, we need to be an example among other people, my friends. We need to live a righteous life. We need to do good deeds. That is really important, my friends. As the verse 16 says, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. My friends, we need to live according to the word of God, my friends. We need to follow the, my friends, we need to follow our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My friends, as our Lord Jesus Christ has preached in here, we need to let our, sh our light shine before others, that others may see our good deeds and glorify our Father in heaven. Amen. My friends, the Gospel of John chapter 8 verse 12 says, Then Jesus again spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. Amen. My friends, we need to always remember that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He who follows him will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. Amen. My friends, the Gospel of John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Amen. My friends, we need to always remember that we need to live a life that is pleasing to the Lord. Amen. That is really important, my friends. Amen. My friends, Romans chapter 13 verse 11 to 14 says, Do this knowing the time that is that is that it is already the hour for you to awaken from sleep for now is for now salvation is nearer to us than when we believed the night is almost gone and the day is near therefore let us lay aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light let us have let us behave properly as in the day not in carousing and drunkenness not in sexual promiscuity and sensuality not in strife and jealousy but put on the lord jesus christ and make no provision for the flesh in regard to its lusts amen my friends we need to completely remove sin from our lives that is really important my friends as the apostle paul is telling in here do this knowing the time that it is that it is already the hour for you to awaken from sleep for now salvation is nearer to us than we will than when we believed the night is almost gone and the day is near therefore let us lay aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light amen let us behave properly as in the day not in carousing and drunkenness not in sexual promiscuity and sensuality not in strife and jealousy but put on the lord jesus christ and make no provision for the flesh in regard to its lusts amen my friends, Psalm 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my, 
and a light to my path. My friends, in here the psalmist is saying that your word, the word of God is a lamp to his feet and a light to his path. Amen. My friends, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Amen. My friends, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 7 to 14 says, Therefore do not be par partners with them, for you were once darkness, but now you are the light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Amen. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, wake up sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Amen. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Amen. Acts chapter 13 verse 47 says, For so the Lord has commanded us, I have placed you as a light for the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the end of the earth. Amen. My friends, it is our duty and our obligation as the children of God, as believers in God, to share the gospel with other people. Amen. We, my friends, we need to proclaim and preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. That is really important, my friends. Amen. My friends, Colossians chapter 1 verse 9 to 14 says, For this reason also, since the day we heard of it, we have not ceased to pray for you, and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you will walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, to please him in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for the attaining of, of all steadfastness and patience joyously giving thanks to the father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light for he rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have redemption the forgiveness of sins amen my friends, it is really important that we live according to the commandments of God. My friends, we need to live, we need to, we need to obey the commandments of God. That is really important, my friends. Amen. My friends, Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Amen. My friends, we need to decorate our lives and enrich our lives with the attributes of the fruit of the Spirit. There are nine elements, love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. My friends, we need to decorate and enrich our lives with these nine attributes of the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. So my friends, I hope everything is clear and coherent in today's video. So if you have any questions or clarifications to be made, please leave them down in the comment section down below and I will provide you with the answers. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you today, tomorrow and always. May God bless you and keep you. May God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you.